but again, just a single line, just to get the setup. The part that houses the point, just kind of keeping it as a rectangular shape with a depth to it. And then curving it off on either corner. And then the part that's cut out of there keeps it hollow. But if you can set it up initially, you can kind of see the beginning of it. So there's that thickness to it. Right from the top. And it's just this inside part. So that's pretty pretty much it. This part with the French curve again. You can use this uh, section to help you illustrate it at least. Kind of look for the overall curve. It kind of fits in there. And it gives you something at least just a straight edge. You can always do it freehand offsetting it a little bit until it gets to the thickness that it's going to be. Right here, so you can kind of build that line up <coughs> pretty quick. It's just plastic, symmetrical, reading on one side. Just kind of offsetting it, putting a little reflection or along the chrome for the metal. So it's kind of a straight edge, pretty much like that. The rest of it is something you can do freehand, just kind of heavy up the sections there. Kind of exaggerated the scale of it. In this section. And then right along that edge, it's a lot of kind of base tone colors wrapping itself around. When you get down to the edge, kind of see where it overlaps. And that kind of gives us looping overlap. So once you have that, pretty much have it drawn. Just look for the base tone kind of following a posterized look to it. Gets up into here. Put this all in shadow. Follow the kind of a cross contour line as it goes up and over this edge. And you can erase the highlight, but sometimes in this case, it gives you a little more control just to draw it in. Get you these kind of curvature lines as they come across. it up pretty easily. A couple shadows and again the highlights are characteristic of wherever the lighting was where the picture was taken. Pencil lead. Again, looking at the contour line, just kind of looking all the way the distance it wraps around. Follow this edge of your reference, dark to light.
kind of see the shadow in there. Maybe use the template there. 